OperationSwordfish.com. The hits just keep coming. This operation's moving fully ahead. For four months prior to the opening of Swordfish, users attempted to crack the code online. Never heard of Operation Swordfish. Designed to tie promotional efforts into the movie's theme of hacking and cybercrime, the online campaign centered around a website with 10 hidden levels of password accessible content. A password is different for every character. In the week leading up to opening day, the website broke records and was seen by 500,000 people. That's roughly equivalent to traffic on some of the most successful entertainment sites like MTV.com and eOnline.com. The trailer has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times online and at its peak, the site generated messages at the rate of five per second. Good job. Passwords played a key role in the campaign. Each one led to new levels of content within the site. I may know a password. Hidden within each content level is a four-digit key code. By the time the movie debuted in June, all but the 10th key code were made public. You need to know the password. Our online Gabriel Shear, via message boards and AOL Instant Messenger, instructed players to keep a list of the key codes in a safe place. But no one knew why until it was announced at the end of May. It was then that we officially announced the contest and prizes. Once word got out that the final code appeared only in closing credits of the film, word spread like wildfire on the web, enticing people into theaters. Oh, yeah. On May 29th, we officially announced on Access Hollywood that successful hackers who found all 10 key codes were eligible to win a $50,000 GMC Yukon Denali and $25,000 cash, a Dell 4000 Inspiron PC, and more. OperationSwordfish.com was launched with an elaborate, integrated marketing and advertising campaign that spanned across all of the Warner Brothers advertising and publicity divisions and was the beneficiary of creative ideas from all corners of the department. The National Promotions Department was successful in committing GM to donate a truck for the contest. GM's sponsorship included a double truck ad in Entertainment Weekly as well as a TV campaign that ran on TNT. TBS and in an array of promotional banners and ads online, all pointed to the website and its content. The publicity department was instrumental in getting talent to reveal content information to the media. John Travolta, Halle Berry, Hugh Jackman, and Don Cheadle each exposed different passwords that led to new levels of the site. The password is Enigma. Veneta is the code word. The other password is Pride. It's Tempest. These reveals were seen everywhere from Good Morning America with Halle Berry to Access Hollywood to local TV markets through junket interviews. Publicity along with the new media department were also instrumental in getting positive coverage in Entertainment Weekly, USA Today, Yahoo Internet Life, and dozens of other publications. Awesome, I think we're done. <laughs> The creative advertising department played into the game by including passwords on the one sheets, in TV spots, and outdoor advertising. They could be found on telephone kiosks, bus sides, sport boards, billboards, wall boards, in Times Square, and in every major city in the U.S. The media department enabled Street Beam password reveals in several locations in New York using Street Beam's infrared beaming technology. Palm Pilot owners could download passwords from phone kiosk posters. Large size newspaper ads in every market and other major print outlets featured barcodes readable by a device called a QCAT scanner, which is distributed at 7,000 Radio Shack stores. The barcodes were linked to a special website that also revealed passwords. Our banner ads, pop up ads, superstitials, and other forms of online advertising also contained hints and passwords. These could be found on banners placed on websites for The Hollywood Reporter, AdvantGo.com, AdamFilm.com, Spinner Custom Channel, and more. The online campaign was the beneficiary of significant coverage in offline entertainment press. This all resulted in widespread coverage on the web. The online publicity campaign was extensive, with online reviews and coverage on popular entertainment sites. These included CountingDown.com, IGN Film Force, RollingStone.com, Movie Phone, Coming Attractions, Dark Horizons, and Burly Bear. These sites reach more than 30 million unique visitors monthly. 
AOL keyword Swordfish gave users easy access to the site, while other Warner Brothers websites participated in cross promotions. Please welcome to the stage, Paul Ogunbowl. Warner Brothers Online blanketed its sites with revealing banners and also covered the Swordfish premiere live online. The opening scene in this movie is absolutely my favorite scene. It's a great experience to have Warner's Online to be here. Additional passwords were released by the host of the webcast between red carpet interviews. Additionally, we enabled AOL's Instant Messenger to communicate messages and passwords all over the world from our very own online Gabriel Shear. He was always logged on, revealing new hints and links to other sites that contained useful information about the film and the contest. Occasionally, he would go live, instant messaging with fans. With visual assets from the production, we quietly created a multiplayer internet game called Operation Stingray. It was designed, essentially, as a prequel to the movie. The game contains embedded passwords, but also functioned as a means to reach an important male 18 to 24 target for the movie. The game was posted on April 15th and had more than 10,000 downloads in the first 24 hours. Since that time, the game has been mirrored on sites in Germany, Japan, England, Australia, Poland, France, and is still being played worldwide. Not everything ends the way you think it should. Fully integrated web marketing has shown to accelerate online word of mouth and control post-release buzz to dramatically increase sales, according to a new report by Forrester Research. The study reports that internet word of mouth can help extend awareness beyond initial release, boosting box office grosses by as much as $15 million per film. The report stressed that integration of all disciplines of marketing with web activity is crucial. From its conception in early February to the final contest winner announced in late July, Operation Swordfish was one of Warner Brothers' most highly successful and innovative campaigns to date.